I did say that um, when I got the standard mod patch 0 0.8 update done, I would be doing a playthrough, and I believe I'm going to try to do that. Although, I probably won't do much playing today. Today, I plan to do a lot of talking about um, philosophy and movies and archaeology and just everything that might come to my brain. Uh, that's not completely true. Uh, the first thing I noticed is that I didn't give it a number, so we can't tell that this is um, 0 0.8 update, but uh, so maybe I should do something about that. But we'll launch in. Directly in. And we know what we want to do. We want to be female and I have a very specific reason for this and it has to do with this person's glasses this is a very very important point for me I hope I can explain it properly and our sheet I, I we want to dump everything we can into dexterity actually um, that's not true you can dump it into whatever you want but I found out something that I thought was really interesting, but we won't be able to talk about it until we probably get to Chinatown. So the reason that I want to dump everything into dexterity will have to wait. The next choice is kind of problematic um, in that I kind of want research as well. Um, I think I'm going to want hacking for this character, so I'm going to do that. So there's um, only two here, so these are three apiece, so it doesn't really matter at all how we do this. And the only reason I'm going to do this is because I want uh, Intimidate to be four when I hit Santa Monica. And the next choice is just to save me some blood um, I'll buy the books for firearms one and two and computer one and two and the last thing this is also problematic in that I know I can get um, the bonus from Beckett for three here which would be I don't know three six must be six and so if I use this now I'm giving up Beckett's bonus for six, and I'm also giving up a point that I could apply here. And I want to do inspection. Um, I've done this before, but I'm going to do it again. And I want to do dominate, because I kind of want to show that off a little bit. And we I had already done this before, a pre-run, so I gave a name and Accept and away we go. And um, so this upcoming scene is, um, I just love it. Uh, I think it's beautiful and really artistic. Even with the original glasses, which are black and not translucent or not glass. And in this case, um, the, the um, surface of the glass is actually glass with reflections, real-time reflections. And um, it is dark, although I can't decide if that's dark enough. But when she tilts her head like that and this light glints off of it and then she looks and you see her eyes... I just absolutely, absolutely love that part. Okay. So that explained part of that. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with And now, um, anytime we're, we're done here, well, maybe we can hang on it for a second here. If we can see her face. Because, um... One of the things that's kind of important is how the glasses hang on a person's face. Grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siren. 
Uh, and one, another important thing is consistency throughout the game. And uh, Therese there, when she tips her head, um, you should notice her lenses, which are also fixed and correct, <laughs> which is a whole other story. There she tipped her head forward, so that's what I wanted to see. Now, we're in a position now where we can um, hit the delete key. Oh, it's delete by default, and it will let us skip this, so we no longer need that ugly skip option on the character sheet. So now I'll do my skip and we'll come back and talk about this many, many, many times, potentially. <laughs> All right. That we must something, something, something. All right. And um, I guess this is another um, place where I probably should think about making some changes. Maybe there's more information that could go on here to help a player. Uh, I do suppose there is. But anyway, back to the introduction. And um, for this, we're going to go to another program. So I'll see you when we get there. And this time we're in um, Unofficial Patch 11.3 Basic. It, because I want to try to explain, a lot of people ask, um, what's the difference between your patch and the unofficial patch? And I kind of want to talk about that. And we're going to do the same person. And um, right away, we see that she no longer has those dark lenses um, in the original game. They're completely black and don't have any translucency at all, which um, is one of the main things, one of the issues here. And we'll go to the sheet and we'll auto spend and accept. We'll be on our way. And one of the issues here is um, one of the big things about the unofficial patches, they <laughs> seem to tend to look at files more than like the game and making artistic um, choices, which, um, like if it made it into the final game, the argument could be, oh, everything was rushed, which I don't buy. And in this case, instead of the dark lenses, we have um, these yellow tinted lenses, which don't belong to this character. They belong to the next set of armor, which is kind of a gold shiny Kind of armor which is a good artistic choice for that armor they're also not glass I'm they're not reflective and it just doesn't have the impact I don't think so so there's that and we've seen that Good evening. and now from My a philosophical fellow. point of my view, for disrupting any business um, interfering with like my patch, I've said it evening. several times, is um, intended to be you. kind of a we are here because the laws museum of quality society. patch. The laws oh, the and then we're going to see Therese here, I think, in a second. We want to look at her um, lenses as well, because that's another um, change. Many of you have no watch. I suppose people, uh, so However, we see that they don't have that tint that they should have there either. And But anyway, the whole point here is I'm trying to make is that the unofficial patch isn't concerned about like a museum type of quality restoration or patch. They're more in, concerned about this is good enough and nobody's going to notice the difference. Uh, but I notice the difference, and I care because um, I really care about preserving this game um, and getting, you know, like I said, a museum quality restoration. Normally, I would not work on these glasses, and the only reason I did work on these glasses is um, because on my undisciplined Caitiff mod, for the Caitiff, I had to work on these glasses. And so I had already done the work, so there wasn't any reason to um, 
carry it over, but other than that, I would be happy to leave them as dark black. So that could seem a little random to people, but uh, my, I guess my response to that is it is random, but when I, if I'm not working on something, I, I just leave it. I'm happy to leave it as long as I, it isn't broken, as long as the game can run and you can get through the quests, um, visual things and auditory things and minor model things. I don't really care about. So this is something I normally would not work on, but I only worked on it because I was here. And, uh, for 0 0.8, that's pretty much true of um, a whole ton of things. I went to fix one thing, and while I was there, I fixed a lot of things that were, as long as I'm working on it, I'll go ahead and fix everything I can find in the walking out scene. I dislike this scene. So that was that, and um, now is, I'll, we'll go to a more dramatic example of what I'm talking about, hopefully, and that will make it clear. Your sire, tragic. Your sire, tragic. But you see, there is a strict okay, goodbye, must, fine sir. Must adhere to. And again, um, back in 11.3, an official patch, and this is... Uh, a change for Beckett to just to show you another contrasting view and the reason for this change is because Beckett is supposed to be sophisticated and suave and educated and all that good stuff and um, so for me it's really important that he actually looks like that and um, so I took a lot of effort to fix his glasses and again, they're um, translucent and reflective. And they actually do kind of hide his eyes. Boom. Okay, so that was um, the changes I made for Beckett. And I didn't make that by accident or because I was working on something else. I made that because I felt it was absolutely essential to uh, convey the importance of Beckett. And if you don't get the right vibe from Beckett, then that's a real problem with the game that needs to be addressed. So that's why I changed Beckett. All right, so now we're going to look at it from a different perspective. We're back in the unofficial patch 11.3 with the uh, unofficial patch. 11.3 Beckett on the bed this time just to contrast kind of the different philosophies between our two patches in that um, in my patch like I said I'm kind of trying to do a perfect restoration like for posterity like if you had a VW Beetle and you were preparing it for a museum or at the difference is like um, If you just have a car, a VW Beetle, and you take it somewhere, and they're like, ah, this is the wrong tire, but it'll run, slap it on. Or this engine part's broken, but it'll run without it, so just clamp, clamp it off for now and forget about it, because as long as it's clamped off, it doesn't matter. And that's My perfectly fine. I mean, if that's My your customer, and that's what they're happy with, and nobody notices then that's what it's you should do, you know, it depends on what your goal is and what you're here, trying to accomplish, society, which is what I was trying to uh, emphasize is the unofficial patch and my patch are trying to accomplish two very different things. And I didn't really start out wanting to do this patch, I just sort of fell into it by accident because there were a lot of things in the unofficial patch that just were important to me and nobody was working on them. So I'm like, well, I'll, I'll do it myself. And then the more I started learning about it and working on it, the more I thought about, well, there's more and more things that I want to work on and that are important to me. 
And, you know, as you go along, the years pass and you learn more and more and the hole gets deeper and deeper. So anyway, that was just why I wanted to show this Beckett after my Beckett. The code that binds like a, a thread. Forgive me. Oh, and it is kind of interesting in that you can see that the person in that red um, coat there has the yellow lenses as well. And I'm going to talk about that Which leads to the later the on. I don't know when, but later on. Desire, most child are so we'll get to that later on. I've decided to look at the original file. So this is... Um, official 1.2, hopefully without any changes. And what we can see is um, in the unofficial patch, they changed these lenses to yellow, which the yellow um, lenses, I do believe look really good with the kind of gold outfit, um, but not, doesn't look good at all with this outfit. And that's just my opinion, but, so I'll go on to show why I think that it should be these uh, dark lenses and even even in this um, rendition with the dark lenses the uh, intro still looks really nice to me in fact um, sometimes I think if maybe I should have made the lenses darker but of course that's super difficult to decide and there's no right or wrong. That's just my opinion. I can't prove that or substantiate that with any data or evidence. That's just a, a value judgment. And we see that her eyepiece, her earpiece, her earpiece doesn't match up with the frame and the lenses are not transparent. They're completely just black black which I don't I don't mind that at all I still think that looks good it looks really um, exotic sort of and, and I guess the other contrasting thing is we see some of the other tiny weird details that happen boop, 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 boop. Good all right so that's enough of that. And we need to switch gears, I guess, if I can do this correctly. I hope I can do this correctly. Nope. Yes, and yes, and yes. So, as I said, we're going to try to ex go through this and... Um, so we have this female Tremere Armor Zero lens. And we look at it and we say, okay, this is the yellow lens. And this is the female Armor One lens. And it's also a yellow lens. So it does seem like the obvious thing would be that, uh, yeah, they wanted to use this lens, but they just screwed up and didn't use this lens. But um, we have to investigate a little further. And we see that, in fact, Tr Armor One has um, everything, miscellaneous, hands, feet, hair, head, glasses, lens, blah, blah, blah. So that all seems pretty straightforward. and. The thing about this archaeology I was talking about, it's, it's, it's never straightforward. Most things in life, if you actually start looking into them, they turn out to be more complicated than they appear to be at first glance. And we need to find this and this as our next clues. So here we have um, the, tr the model and the textures that it's using. So that we can see that it does use the F0 body, F0 head, hair. 
and um, but it doesn't have any lenses here. And then if we go to the uh, Tremere Armor 1 body, we see that it includes the Armor 1 path and the Armor 0 path. And the other odd thing we notice here is that all of these are zeros. So in, even though we have all of we have all of the ones, it isn't using any of them. So that's our next clue. And when we go to investigate that, what we find is that we look at uh, Armor One lands, and we uh, click this, and we click Mask, and we see that nothing happens. So. Um, you may not know what that means, but that means that this lens is broken. And so the lens they actually meant to use with this armor is um, lens zero right there. That is actually, so if we go to that one and we do the same thing, we click view. You see, so if you want a lens to be transparent and um, translucent and glass surface. It has to be made this way. And I don't know the whole story of what happened, but the, what happened, <laughs> I don't know the whole story of what happened. Anyway, they, pr they did want, I don't know, they, they probably, they copied all this stuff over and they wanted to use it all, but then they're like, oh, oh, it isn't working. And they're like, darn it, darn it, darn it. And then they switch back to this one and they go, okay, these are all working. So something in the copying process went wrong. And um, we, we're, we don't have time to mess with it. We're just going to use all of the ones in Armor Zero that we know are working. And they didn't have time to fix them. Um, Armor Zero to have a lens so that they use this miscellaneous. And how do we know that they run into uh, trouble? Well, we can see that this is populated fully. And we can see that this is populated fully. And then they're like, okay, oh, 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 ran into trouble, ran into trouble, don't have time to mess with it. So this, this uses all of Armor Zero, and this uses all of Armor Zero, except for the cuffs, uh, which are the fuzzy things I don't like. But anyway, so now if a person were to argue, the argument should be that for Armor One, they wanted this gold lens to match the, uh, or I mean yellow lens to match the gold armor. And in Armor Two, if they had time, they probably would have made uh, a pink or uh, some kind of a shade of rose to match the suit there. And same thing in uh, Armor 3. They probably would have, they might have just re reused the dark, um, the dark one from Armor 0 if they could have gotten that to work. So if we look at miscellaneous, can I find miscellaneous? If we look at miscellaneous, it looks like this. And when we click mask, that's why it's black. It, it, uh, it has no transparency. It has no alpha channel associated with it. So anyway, that's an explanation for, for how we got here. And the kind of archaeology that you have to do to come to the uh, final conclusion. And um, as, if we get to downtown, I can show you. There's probably a ton of things I could show you. But I can show you an example of where I've done this myself. I'm, like looked at something and I go, oh, that's a huge mistake, you know, that's an obvious huge mistake. And I'm all happy and I fix it and then I go. And then a year later, I, after I've learned a ton more about the game, 
I finally realized that no, they actually did that on purpose and it makes a ton of sense. But when you first look at it, things that seem obvious um, as you research more and dig deeper into it, the obvious answer is um, hardly ever correct, especially with this game. Um, especially with this game. Pretty much everything that I think, oh, I'll change this. It's obvious that's a mistake. And I can't tell you how many times I have to go back and reverse on that because um, they actually did that for a reason. Um, but a lot of times, well, I won't discuss that. We'll discuss that if we ever make it to downtown. But we did make it to the tutorial today. So anyway, thank you for watching.